I love Supreme. Just to those who ask, we are both facts and we're both masked. Sitting here, oh yes, I beg your pardon. Tonight the Tony Awards are at the Winter Garden. 7 p.m. on Paramount Plus. We down the bus, we down the thrust. You can watch us, okay? Plus one. No, we came to kick it here at the Broadway show. Broadway is back from the front to the back. Got my hat to the front. Baltimore's in the stunt. Okay, this is Shockwave and my name's UTK. And we'll see you tonight at the Tony Awards. Hey! I'm so excited. This is my first time back at a Broadway theater and I'm so excited to be back. Broadway's back. Come see a show. Broadway means love and storytelling and health. So it's really good to be home tonight. Advice to Broadway hopefuls. Something that I have to remind myself of all the time, which is um, uh, be yourself uh, because uh, uh, they're looking for, well, they don't know what they're looking for, um, but there's a good chance they're looking for a really good version of you. And I have to tell myself that all the time because it's 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 you're surrounded by the most talented people in the world, and um, they're competitive. Broadway has always meant to me joy and escapism and and um, uh, uh, talent and excitement and live music, and it still means that. But it's even more important now because we've gone so long without it. So it's 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 even more important than it ever was. Oh man. You can't even imagine. It was like, you know, I, I couldn't believe it. I watched the Tony Awards, I don't know, since I was 15, 16 years old. And, you know, Rent was the show that brought me to the theater and they're represented here tonight. There's going to be a reunion on stage. It's just so deeply meaningful. I feel terrified, yes. I feel the weight. <laughs> the weight. No, I feel, you know, I feel like, um, I... I, in Hamilton, you know, a lot of the legends would come through, heroes would come through all the time, and I really looked at it as like, I get a night to say thank you for all the entertainment. You know, Bernadette Peters is going to be in the front row, with Lynn, Tita Rivera. Hello, I am Audrey McDonald. Welcome to the Tony Awards! We're finally here! Uh, people congregating together safely in theaters, experiencing the magic of theater, the magic that uh, uh, theater brings, and all the humanity that it brings with people. People congregating together safely in theaters, experiencing the magic of theater, the magic that uh, uh, theater brings, and all the humanity that it brings with people. Hi, I'm Kelly O'Hara, and something I love about the theater is that we're a family. During this COVID moment, it's really forced me to think about all the reasons that I really love theater. I love the community, I love the way in which it infuses me with joy, I love that I can go into a space and I can laugh and I can cry and I can be in this collective that's all feeling what I'm feeling and I'm just really happy to be back you know with two shows and looking forward to rehearsal and being with my community 40 years ago making my I say my Broadway debut being a Tony nominated actor dream girls on Broadway spectacular right. in so many ways right. But once it wrapped, where were we going to go? As artists of color, black artists, where were we going to go? What was next for us? Who was going to accept us as talented beings that we were and still are? I'm very happy that 40 years later, I return as a producer of one of what I believe is going to be a groundbreaking play of the season, Thoughts of a Colored Man. I'm very happy that I'm being able to, I'm able to be a part of bringing that kind of talent to the forefront to send them out to whatever is waiting for them because there is more. Because tonight I celebrate my 40th anniversary of Dream Girls and I come back as a Tony nominated actor. I come back 40 years later as a producer of what I believe is one of, going to be one of the most exciting plays to open on Broadway this season, Thoughts of a Colored Man. So I'm very excited, very pleased and I don't think it could be too much better. I love the theater because I love the idea of a bunch of strangers consciously and proactively going into a room with other strangers 
to experience something that bring, brings them together. Broadway is back in three, two, one. When you say Broadway is back, it sounds like to me that we are getting another chance to fight like underdog, to tell the story that deserves to be told, to really just have an opportunity to represent those who are underrepresented. It's very exciting. I mean, I, I love the theater. It's the longest I've ever gone without doing theater since I started acting, so I'm I'm raring to go. We'll see uh, not just Broadway, but uh, off Broadway, all the theaters uh, here in New York City. Uh, I just can't wait to get back to it. We just started performing for live audiences two nights ago. Two nights ago. Milan, and you know, I've never been I've never been in a show that has had that kind of reaction. Before. Never been in the theater with that kind of reaction. Before. Ooh, the room. Oh, it's a it means a lot, right? Like New York is not New York without the theater. And so to be here at the Tony Awards tonight on a cool night in September is everything. It's a celebration. You know, and and I I am very aware of it for 64 years of West today is the at that theater. At this theater. 64 years ago tonight. It opened. Um, and for me this there's something very special about that. The experience of performing something in one room with one group of people who are watching and listening at the same time. And the connection that you have with the audience is there's nothing like it. So I think if you're lucky, uh, you know, getting to do film and television, which is an absolute privilege, is hopefully the angle that you hopefully get to subsidize and support to in theater. Because uh, we're, we're certainly not doing it for the glamour. Makes the heart sing. It's amazing to like step back to Broadway and watch that like a mouse, like a, a huge sort of avalanche of black work is coming back to Broadway after years and years and years of black work being stifled and like um, stopped from coming to this place. We're now seeing Broadway look like it looked in the 70s for a moment, the way it looked in the 50s for a moment, the way it looked in the 90s for a moment. Hi, Tony Awards Instagram. What a night. Welcome back, Broadway. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Worldwide Campus News and Entertainment. Then ring the bell to see all notifications about the new videos and the latest video.